Jack Aubrey and his neighbour in the rusty black coat stood up at the same time, and they looked at one another. Jack let his face return to its expression of cold dislike. The dying remnants of his artificial rapture were peculiarly disagreeable as they faded, and in a low voice he said, My name is Aubrey, sir. I am staying at the Crown. Mine, sir, is Maturin. I am to be found any morning at Joselito's Coffee House. May I beg you to stand aside? For a moment Jack felt the strongest inclination to snatch up his little gilt chair and beat the white-faced man down with it. But he gave way with a tolerable show of civility. He had no choice unless he was to be run into. And shortly afterwards he worked through the crowd of tight-packed blue or red coats with the occasional civilian black as far as the circle round Mrs. Hart, called out, Charming! Capital! Beautifully played! over heads three deep, waved his hand, and left the room. Jack Aubrey and his neighbour in the rusty black coat stood up at the same time, and they looked at one another. Jack let his face return to its expression of cold dislike. The dying remnants of his artificial rapture were peculiarly disagreeable as they faded, and in a low voice he said, My name is Aubrey, sir. I'm staying at the Crown. Mine, sir, is Maturin. I am to be found any morning at Joselito's coffee house. May I beg you to stand aside? For a moment Jack felt the strongest inclination to snatch up his little gilt chair and beat the white-faced man down with it. But he gave way with a tolerable show of civility. He had no choice unless he was to be run into and shortly afterwards he worked through the crowd of tight-packed blue or red coats with the occasional civilian black, as far as the circle round Mrs. Hart, called out, Charming, capital, beautifully played, overheads three deep, waved his hand, and left the room.